So I got pegged at Cracker Barrel Country Store. Welcome back to the Open Casket Podcast. I'm one half of your fat fuck podcast, Herschel. My dick don't work, Gills. My dick don't work. I'm your second half spooky. I have AIDS celluloid. <laughs> That's We're how- trying to get monetized. I have AIDS. <laughs> well, you started by saying you got pegged at Cracker Barrel, which the pegging won't be the issue. It's the f- Cracker Barrel part that's going to get us in trouble. Crackers, crackers. No, we're not on Twitch. We can say crackers. Crackers. Somebody actually oh. got banned for calling somebody a cracker on Twitch. Yeah, it was it was Hassan. Yeah. Hassan got banned for calling somebody a cracker. Which is nice, because... Uh, Hassan also got banned one time, though, because he said the Americans deserve the 9 <laughs> I like the 9-11. Yeah. <laughs> so Herschel yeah. sent me a secret project, and all I said was I like the 9-11. Because, <laughs> I mean... I, I, 9-11 has a, had its positive. I got a day off, like, from kindergarten. <laughs> My mom got off of work early. I, I was three at the time. Oh. And my... <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself, but Spooky Celluloid needs to. <laughs> Before you called me, I was reading My Chan's Daily Life, <laughs> so that's... It means you're on a watch list. Oh, it's been a while. All my packages get fucking looked at almost now. I know that Brian Pollan can't send stuff to Germany, or if he does, the like German Customs seizes it, because on his website he has to like mention that if I'm shipping, it's like German customers only if I ship to you and it gets seized, it's not our fault. <laughs> The Germans are such pussies sometimes. You would think they would have a sense of humor after what they did in 1943. <laughs> Enlighten me about what happened in 1943. I don't know. We're already it's not even two, three minutes in and we're already we're already getting bad off. Why are you slapping a DVD on your knee? They're broken. Oh. Just like just like my cock. <laughs> Just like my but, dreams but, of actually being something in life. But pills can't fix the DVDs. <laughs> uh, what? Did, this one simple trick will make your DVDs expand by three sizes and become a laser disc. <laughs> Rip hot singles in your area. Yeah, can we just pour one out for the hot singles in my area? Rest in peace. I'm drinking beta power. Why are you drinking beta power? I thought in my open, in my open dr- casket podcast sp- sponsored by C4 Energy. In my dumb alcoholic Tastes mind, like ass. I thought you were drinking twisted tea. No. Do you Americans even have that? Americans created that. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, it's, it's like a, that's like a thing here. Did you you don't even know there was a guy that like robbed a convenience store and somebody took his twisted tea can and just smashed him on the head and knocked him out until the police came. Okay, and he he got he got he got sponsored and he got like a lifetime supply of twisted tea. Jesus Christ, you would never see that in Canada in Canada's version of twisted tea. You have to in Canada you have to print like a label of like a pregnant woman drinking. And with like an X, and it says, "Don't, don't do that." You know that some pervert out there jerked off to that image too. Well, it's it's a drawing. It's a stick figure. And <laughs> I used to do that all the time when I when I was alone with my thoughts. I would just draw. I would just draw circles and put a little pin mark in the middle. I wasn't like bad at draw- drawing when I was like 10, 11, and I used to draw porn for my friends. <laughs> they hand it back and this is sticky. It's like, look at this. This is the sign of your effort. <laughs> no, but like they'd hide it, and in- one of them would hide it in his shed. And I just like, I just come in, and there was like my drawings of porn just <laughs> layered on like his floor shed. I'm like, what the fuck? What am I doing? Like a, a sequel to Zodiac. Yeah, but he'd give me. Try, I'm trying to affect the Zodiac comer. <laughs> he'd give me a nickel, so I was just grinding. 
<laughs> I, was, I was fucking. Your parents walk in, Francis? <laughs> Where did you get all these nickels from? <laughs> Why are they wet? Uh, Mamma Mia. Mamma, Mamma Mia, the kid. My Italian parents. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, not again. You got the cummy nickels. Oh. Uh. Oh, we should we should we, we need to we need to start having like listener questions or something <laughs> because we, we, we because we need like something to actually talk about it's like so far we've had 9-11 the holocaust <laughs> and coming on nickels no i'm I, i'm we're telling life stories I, I was a good kid who dropped pornography for my friends <laughs> <laughs> i'm I, I i won't say that I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I just made pornography with my friends as a child. Oh, okay. That's how you called your uncle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're, okay. I'm still I'm still reeling from trying to tell you the uncle joke, and you're just like, I'm sorry, I don't understand, and I had to explain. Which uncle a joke. No, I'm like, my uncle used to do that to me in the closet, and all the games were like pertinent to what was happening. Like he had sorry and trouble, <laughs> oh. mousetrap. Oh, I get, I get it. Because uh, uh, he was in big trouble. Naughty, naughty. Big trouble. Mamma mia, mamma mia, my uncle molested me again. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's talk about the gin. Oh, yes, I am drinking gin, Romeo gin. Ooh. Gin is such a, a it's not a drink for for burly men. Yes, it that is. Makes, My that makes that makes. used to drink that and beat his wife. If that's not manly, <laughs> tell me what is. Nah, I was the forties. It's okay. She overcooked the chicken a little bit, and he was just feeling off that day. The chicken wasn't it wasn't the only thing that was dry later that night. <laughs> that old oh, bag oh. couldn't come. <laughs> 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 Rest in peace, Grandma. <laughs> uh, like the men didn't care about female orgasms back in the forties. They only cared about drinking, farming, and beating. And he was doing some plowing. Other. What? <laughs> there was lots of plowing going on. <laughs> I'm, I come from a family of farmers, by the way. Everybody comes from a family of farmers. He has got a. Donald Farmer, especially. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna be a bride of Franken-Con if that can convince you to come by with us. No, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go see him, and I'm gonna pull my pants down and get kicked out. <laughs> Do you think he'd remember you, or...? Probably not. Yeah, he... our, our call our call is pretty dark, and I look like every other white guy. No. To be fair. Did you get a mushroom cut? A uh, bowl cut, man? What the fuck happened to your hair? Did you, did, did you get a mushroom cut? <laughs> Mario's gonna come jump on me, and I'm like, oh! Oh, mamma mia! Because I watched your last video, I'm like, what the fuck did he do to his hair? This is what... No, I'm, I actually have a bone to pick with, I'm with Great Clips, the, the chain store in America. Uh, haircuts used to be $12, and I was like, they're 18 now, and this is what you get. What, this is what you get for eighteen dollars. There's wait, you go to a chain haircut place? Oh look that guy doesn't go to barbers. I do, but like I don't know, they're not chains, they're they're I'm last time I got my hair cut by a fella calling me bro way too much. You bro? You feel that bro? He's like, yo bro. Because it was yo, next uh, to my university, and he's like, "Yo, bro, you smashing pussy?" I'm like, "Yo, dude, you're you're cutting my hair, please." <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, sir. So, sir, what did, what did I ever do to you? That hair, they're you? all gonna line up. I'm like, okay, man. I'm getting that oh, haircut to not get the you know scene in a lineup. <laughs> Prison lineup. I'm going to. Do it. I've come in. <laughs> this is the end of the episode. You start hearing sirens. <laughs> they found my John's daily life on my computer. <laughs> I've committed arson. I burned. 
I burned the old and, and folks home the, in my town. <laughs> and this is the location. <laughs> the date and time that I did it as well. I have no alibi. It's like, a... <laughs> in there, you're, you're get in the in the jail. They're like interrogating you. He's like, "What's where, where were we that night? Oh, I was burning the whole smoke stone down." <laughs> Shit. Oh no, you got me. I guess <laughs> my mother always told me to be honest. <laughs> Dude, I was watching Friday Five yesterday, and I just love that old redneck woman. Now you big deal. Don't eat your fucking slop. <laughs> I just love that movie, and then when the guy knocks on, now who the fuck are you, and what the fuck do you want? You know, a movie you should talk about memories within Miss Aggie, and why you didn't finish it. I just watched that movie the other day. I finished it. I watched the entire thing. Oh, I thought you said I thought you said he didn't finish it. You were you were, you were on the call last time with Matt and John, and you're just like I didn't. When I was supposed to watch Memories Within Miss Aggie, no, I didn't it do it. It was no, it was um. I, um, Nine Lives of a Wet Pussy. I, I watched it, but I skimmed through it. It was the Abel Ferrara, because I didn't want to see Abel Ferrara's cock for, like, an hour. You could say you weren't able to get it up. Jesus fucking Christ. Mamma mia. <laughs> Abel Ferrara. Mamma mia, my cock, oh. my cock is not able to work. Mamma mia, I'm gonna make Mrs. 45. Memories within Miss Aggie slaps. I think, like, if it wasn't for uh, Portraits of Andrea Palmer, it'd probably be my favorite of those movies on that podcast that I did with the Sagan Cinema Boys. You mean pornography? Yeah, we we, ta- we talked about pornography. Why, why let's talk, let's talk. I watched The Taming of Rebecca, finally. That movie bored me to tears. <laughs> Dude, I watched your video. I really want to watch it, but... Wait, no, uh, you did Devil and Miss Jones, not... Yeah, that one's good. Yeah, no, and I, I watched it on, for everybody listening that kept asking me for a link to it. I literally watched it on X Hamster. Yeah, you can I you can find it everywhere. It's porn. Just Google it. Yes. Just Google it. It's it's literally porn. It's like the most accessible thing ever. And everybody's like, "Do you have a link?" I'm like, "Here's the X Hamster link." Dude, it's like like uh, porn sites have entire categories meant for vintage porn, and they basically they even have the vinegar syndrome tr- uh, transfer for like uh, taboo one to five on those sites. Like people, you can find it. It's porn. It's easy. Taboo. Them releasing taboo was wild though, because this is. Do we really need five entries in an incest porn? Yes. That's fair. Next question. <laughs> taboo one slaps. <laughs> I don't think I've seen any of them. Oh, wait, no, I've seen Taboo Forks had Jamie Gillis. Okay, the first one was pretty good. Um, but Taming of Rebecca, that's the... <sighs> Didn't Brad Jones talk about it, like, eight years ago? Probably. I think it's it... not very It's not very good. It has the Halloween theme song, though, which oh. every time it happened, I did find that pretty amusing. <laughs> it's basically it has, just it has... a, a schoolgirl gets punished, right? Yeah. No, there's no, see even by like porn logic, some of it doesn't make sense though, because they're all just like sitting there talking. He goes, "Okay, y'all ready to fuck?" And it's like, wait a second, you just met her. <laughs> Everybody just met each other, and they just have an orgy. <laughs> uh, sounds like a that sounds like. Uh, and they keep talking about the cave, but the only the only good thing that makes the Taming of Rebecca worth watching is the Dean in that movie. The guy who played him was obviously on cocaine the entire time. And he just screams all of his lines the entire movie. Like, there's not a single second of dialogue where he's like, <gasps> Have you seen Famine by Ryan Nicholson? No. Okay. The only Ryan Nicholson movie I've seen is Caller. Okay. I'm just going to tell you, it made me laugh because I was watching it with a friend and the the main girl, all her dialogue is said through screaming. And she just starts talking regular and then she just got pissed off. Like, every sentence. And me and my friend are sitting there. I'm there chilling, drinking a nice a cold Colt 45, just laughing my ass off at every time. She just <laughs> like Jesus Christ, man! Her direction was literally just scream. I mean, judging from Collar, I guess that's the ideal way to watch those movies. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I like Ryan Nicholson, but his dialogue is horrendous. His characters are probably the most annoying characters ever written, and it always sounds like shit. 
Like, famine is shot in a gymnasium, like a high school gymnasium, and they clearly didn't have sound equipment, so it's just echo and screaming. Scream. What? Scream. You don't, I, thought you, I thought you didn't like scream, though. No, no, no. Not screaming, not scream. It's the dialogue. Yeah, no, it's just, sc scream is, sc screaming is a description of when you binge the scream movies. Yeah, what are you doing right now? Nah, bro, I'm just screaming right now. Just, is, that just screaming. Cool, is that how the cool kids say they're watching the Scream franchise? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm just screaming. I don't talk to anybody else, so... Yeah. I, I come out of my basement, it like, shows. every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. I got my bed here. <laughs> I never leave my room even for this. Your girlfriend just talks to you through the door like you're in jail. And I can just grab a random thing, and it's, it will always be unexplainable. No matter what I grab, I'm going to be like... <laughs> it's... I don't even know what this is. Is that porn again? I can't see shit. Ass, okay. ass, ass vomit salad. salad. <laughs> so, uh, and, oh, and below it, I got Women's Prison Massacre. Oh, that movie slaps. Get a nice crotch shot on the cover here. Oh, yeah. Shout out to shout out to Scream Factory for yeah. for doing crotch shot there. Their best release is probably that. <laughs> we we got the Andy Milligan book because I'm cultured and I haven't read it though. Oh wait, they, what they made a book? They made a book about Andy Milligan. Mamma mia, mamma mia, it's, my, my, my mia, it's about Andy Milligan. It's called the Ghastly Ones too. Oh, oh, it's okay. So, Mamma Mia, that's such a cute name. If anybody's listening and they have that Jess Franco book, send it to me. I need it for research. If it... Okay. <laughs> and if anybody's listening and heard that, you should burn the book and then send a video to him. <laughs> Don't burn books. That's not nice. The only th book I burn is the Bible. <sighs> I think I'm feeling the the Christianity come out in me now. Yeah, sorry, that was a plagued moth moment. <laughs> <laughs> you unplugged your mic again, you retard. <laughs> Mama mia, my mic. <laughs> Don't you have like a mic holder thing? <laughs> Fucking. Okay. Open no, I cut off. I use, I use it for my cock. Oh, what the f You look it's like a. Look no, you got, you got like the. You know, it just, this, it just depends on how you're feeling. You know, you got like. You know, this is like speed mode. This is like comfort mode. Take that how you will, everyone. <laughs> for anybody that's listening audio only, I just showed my penis. It's very crooked. That's for true. That's for true. <laughs> I mean, I was gonna judge you for not using that thing, but what would you sit it on? Clearly not, like, a desk, since you don't have a fucking chair. But there's a desk. I do have a desk. I haven't gotten to the chair part. <laughs> what else have I got here? <laughs> this uh, this podcast is just show and tell for fucking Urshel to show us this weird shit that he owns. Look, 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 look at my old Japanese toys. Look at my stuff. I got the stuff. Anybody remember the cl <laughs> the classic movie, the stuff? Dude, shout that, out to that movie. Shout out to whatever that guy. Uh, Did you say that movie sucks? No, it slaps. Oh yeah, shout out to the the guy that made this. Larry, Cohen. I don't remember his name. <laughs> uh, the no, the guy who literally made this. <laughs> the director of the Larry, stuff, Larry, Larry Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> he sent me a personal one. After singing Hallelujah for the fiftieth thousand fucking time, he made the stuff. <laughs> hallelujah, Hallelujah. Look at this. I just grabbed random paper and this. you see this? I got LPS covers. LPS. <laughs> Somebody, somebody ordered LPS for me, somebody. but I'm not gonna share. I, mean, I won't share their name because I don't know if they want that public. But people flex their money. Fucking Urshel flexes his LPS covers that he printed. Yes, nobody has LPS ten through twelve, but me. Oh. They're not very good, but I do have them. 
and go to King of the Witches to buy them. <laughs> I wonder, I'm just like, every time I hear his name, I'm just like, how much can I say <laughs> without getting in trouble with people? <laughs> I don't like King of the Witches. No, you've King made that the... very clear last episode. <laughs> King of the bitches. Unfortunately, I did buy my aroma planning shirt from him, but that's okay. Oh, er but he didn't. He, he didn't make it. It was from his like T public page or whatever. I had a topic the other day. I was masturbating and saw that aroma planning was still a thing. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They just don't make any good stuff anymore, unfortunately. I mean, that was pretty good. What I was watching, I think it was like. <laughs> that I, it was like over the clothes masterpiece. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally have a folder on my laptop called G "Gross JAV or Horror Shock Stuff." I mean, let's just, let's just. So I'm just gonna read some titles to the people that always ask me what I have, so they can just get this. Okay, so I got, I have a file just called "Bug," and it has a. Uh, 19 gigabytes. <laughs> what is of, it about? Uh, I wonder. That, that's that's bug pornography. <laughs> I have I have Genki Genki one through twenty one. <laughs> I have uh, all the PTJ movies. What I have uh, my favorite PT PTJ PT, 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 zero zero one. Or do they have like those fake bootleg names? Because I don't. PTG. No, you know PD. You you know PTG five though, because it's home delivery vomit monster. Oh, yeah. The one you're like, I'm just gonna review the first half. The second half is where it gets exciting. <laughs> I should just I should just go back and be like, Spooky Cellulite re-review and all this. But hey, already, I finally finished this movie and it was crazy. <laughs> Dude, I didn't In, want anyway, to watch anyway, three hours anyway, I'm Canadian, of, Mama Maya. I didn't want to watch three hours of a lady puking and getting shat on, uh, shitting on people. I like Speak for yourself. I got to the second scene, I'm like, I think I understand the concept. Don't think I need to watch any more of that. And it was three hours. Yeah, but the last hour is just an ad. Really? For like, yeah, every PTJ movie ends with an hour long ad. What was the name of that actress? Steve Aoki? <laughs> <laughs> Help, I tried to start a Steve Aoki fan club and I said Aoki Yuki. <laughs> it's like that, that, that video with the guy watching on Mario Judy is like, this is not the baby. <laughs> He's like, that's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sorry, <laughs> what else do you have in your room? Oh, oh no, I was so... debauchery, you fucking weirdo. A bikini girl pukes her guts up. Uh, classic. That one, um, someone saw Jonathan Doe had it, and then I messaged that guy. And he's like, sure, dude, I know a guy that has that, and now I have it. Oh. Oh. Do you have the old yeah. Jonathan Doe stuff that he, like, when it was, like, archiving slash bootlegging, or did you get into game two? Later? I have, uh, I don't have any of his release, well, I have four or five of them. Okay. But they were, like, it was not when he was doing it, it's when he had a sale on his Facebook page. He's like, I found a box of old stuff, and I bought some of that, so I have MASD004, Queen's Face Torture, Death File Gray. I don't know what else. I just had an orgasm though thinking about that. <laughs> Death file gray. I wanna get I I wanna get into those, but like just out of curiosity, like I'm not gonna review them because I don't talk about real gore. I do have the first rare rare a dead person. I'm not sure if that was you that sent me that. I mean, I've been a proponent for those. Yeah. I mean it's a Sur it's a Surasaki movie too. Nobody wants to admit that, but it is. Yeah, I because uh, after he, I got done he, watching Orcazo, I'm like, isn't that the guy that made the first? Did he make the first one, or did did they he make them all? No, he, he. I think he made them all because he made those and he made Death Farm. Oh shit! Okay, what it, 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 are they the disregarded mm. the fan of 
bad guy like community i don't know to be honest i i prefer rare dead person to his other films and and people will get on me about that i've i've had people get on me and get angry they're like it's just dead bodies I'm like yeah but it's interesting because it's like you're it's like you're on the scene with the police the, you shoot, know he shoot though he shot those in like uh southeastern asia right and like yeah thailand no rare rare, rare in thailand, thailand. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're gonna go to thailand <laughs> my, my french got mixed up in there because in french <laughs> let's it's go to thailand, thailand and let's, let's go to thailand and get all the lady boys <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, rare dead person is good, and it's it's crazy. Like he literally like is like goes beyond the like yellow tape, and it's like it looks like he's hiding from the police as he's filming stuff. Sometimes it's crazy. <laughs> but weren't like the cameras like really big at that time? So wouldn't you be like? I don't know. I don't. The, I have no idea. Time. But like you see like cops in the background of some of them, and he's just like like going like low on the ground. It's like what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, don't. Oh, okay. It's just that Japanese guy with the camera filming dead body. Nobody. Just don't pay attention to him. Keep doing your job. No, the the one that I do think is boring. That is, I don't know why people like so much is the Death File collection. Though Death File is incredibly boring. I'm just gonna take a stand here. I I wouldn't and, know the difference. What's the difference between Death Files and Rare a Dead Person? Well, see, you no. Know, let's let's explain here. There's a lot. Of, everything that is has dead bodies in it. It has to have death in the title. So you got death press. You got rare dead person. You got death file. You got what was it? Death farm. You got death body. You got death women. What is that a thing? No, those are all real. And they all have sequels too. Death there's like women. ten. There's like there's death women too. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. They just dance while they're <laughs> dying. <laughs> That's fucking dumb. Man, those series, they really pumped them out in the 90s, but I'm thinking, like, how did you watch those back in the days? Like, you had to have a really cool video store that would even carry or know about those things. I just want to go back in time and show someone from the 90s the disturbing movie Iceberg. <laughs> Just so they can get out of their system and I don't have to hear about it anymore. <laughs> Dude. I literally pulled it up. Let's just let's talk about this for okay. a second here. Which let's one, see. Let's see. Which one is it? Could you send me the link so I can maybe have some visuals so we can it can almost look like I'm putting effort into this thing that I'm we're doing? No, I want you I want you I want you to be like Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Blind. That's my, that's, to to this day, my favorite picture online is the edited photo of Stevie Wonder putting his fingers up like he's crushing the sun, but he's below it. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, like a, that's like a 15-year-old meme now, and it's still funny to me. Oh, did you? Okay, wait. I do. Should I show the chat? Yeah, yeah okay. everybody knows what it is. Oh, here you go. Oh, it's that old one. Yeah. So no. people on my okay, so people right now are seeing this. This is by cool ass redditor nice guy Phil. Two years ago, he got a lot of Reddit karma for that one. He spelled Friday wrong on the first tier. <laughs> Literally, the first word of that of the thing says Fry F R Y day. Come on, no, it, he meant because it's it's Friday. Let's eat some fries. But fries plural is still spelled F R I E S. <laughs> No, it's Friday. You eat a singular fry because you're on a diet. Where's the dash then? I don't know. The man, nice guy Phil was clearly not all there. Also, I like how down the, the list, instead of like getting more disturbing with the people who are like dying, it just turns into more of an incel. And I feel like that actually is like accurate to the extreme cinema community. <laughs> Don't talk about my boy Lewis like that. <laughs> we, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've been sent to cease and desist. <laughs> <laughs> Massacre video banned me. Did they I, can't, I can't. I can't. I can't buy. I can't buy Suicide Dolls twice because they put a cover that said the making of Suicide Dolls, but it's literally the same movie. I can't buy it twice now. Oh. I did buy it twice because I thought it was a separate movie, but it was not. Thanks, Lewis. 
Yeah, I almost. Guy Lewis, I, I hear I, charging I, twice. I almost did that too, but then a friend of the channel, Peppa, was like, "Oh no, that's the same movie." I'm like, "Oof, glad I didn't." We just shout out Peppa. Yeah, shout out Peppa. Uh, OG, OG subscriber on my channel too. That dude is like, he's just like, he, he has like a sense. Yeah, he's been there. Yeah, he just smells. He has a sense channels. when some when some when somebody when somebody starts a YouTube channel, his like ears perk up and he gets like a tingle. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like, oh. are are they talking about porn? <laughs> 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 he just shows up with his British ass. <laughs> he's not British, I don't think. Yes, he is. I thought he lived in. Okay, I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just, it's just <laughs> docks the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, Eli, yeah, it's it's technically Britain. We, I Bullshit. just I just doxed him. It's, it's, there's not a lot of technically Britons. I mean, Hong Kong to a certain point you could say technically Britain. So he might be from Hong Kong. He might be Scottish. He might be Irish. He might be Welsh. Oh yeah, I did look it up. Okay, <laughs> their fl their flag looks weird. I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't say what country I'm talking about, but just assume that I'm saying all countries except America. Yeah, <laughs> I mean the your Welsh, flags are weird. The Welsh flag are, is like dragons, so it's a dragon. They're like, oh, isn't our flag cool? It's got a dragon in it, but yeah, but you're still. The Albanian British. flag is a phoenix, so. Oh shit! The Canadian flag is a maple leaf. <laughs> Canadian flag should just be that picture of you with your nipples out. <laughs> just. I am mm -hmm. a Canadian icon. Milk truck just arrived. <laughs> it's me and Big Celine Bo Big boob girl, hi. <laughs> hi. Big mommy milkers in the house. Oh, wait. We were talking about the disturbing movie Iceberg, and then I just literally forgot. It's... Okay, so 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 tier one is just normal horror movies. Tier two is once again normal horror movies, and I don't really know how they even differentiate. But uh, I think the second tier is like more exploitation. No, not even the second tier. It's hostile and they're like tusk. <laughs> House of a Thousand Corpses is the most disturbing movie ever made. Didn't you know? The Human Centipede. His name is Zombie. Are you serious? <laughs> What? Okay, so Salo, Human Centipede 2, Tetsuo, Suicide Club, Martyrs, Pink, Fl Pink Flamingos. Because <laughs> <laughs> Divine eats a dog shit, I guess it's disturbing. Pink Flamingos is as disturbing as a Serbian film. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is, same, same, same thing. I watched them around the same time. Tetsuo the Iron Man, most disturbing movie ever made. Dude, Tetsuo isn't... I never, like, even back in the days and like, you know, the, the those sites like Screen Rant or whatever, they'd always mention, like, Tetsuo as being disturbing, but I... It's like, no, it's just weird. I literally just watched Tetsuo to go to sleep. Bro, shut I will, up. It's my, a great movie. You motherfucker. My, no, I know. It's literally in my top ten, so... Oh, is it? I have your letter. No, I, no I'm, I just mean... Uh, <laughs> it is in my top ten. It's not in my top four. Oh, okay. So you won't oh, see it on there. That's right, that's the thing. Why did you put it this, to go to sleep? Isn't it fucking... No, because it's, because it's supposed to be so loud and aggressive. That's the joke, but you don't understand. <laughs> Sorry, I'm retarded. My, <laughs> my, my humor is my humor is too advanced. You have to have an IQ. You have to have a high IQ to watch fucking schluck. <laughs> I start my video. Shout out to the Amish. My dick don't work. <laughs> this is some highbrow humor. You have to to have a high IQ to love things that much. That's true. I mean, like so. so the way that this thing is set up, though, is Tier 5 is the funniest thing ever to me, because on Tier 5 you got, um... Every, actually, nothing on there is disturbing at all, but uh, especially the necrophiles, can we just talk about that being on there? Oh, yeah, that's right. That movie's literally a comedy. <laughs> that movie has a baby with, like, cartoon sound effects flying through the air that you can literally see the string they're holding onto. <laughs> Dude, I, I love that movie, and I, I watched it because it was on, like, I was like, wait, 
Because I saw the disturbing movie iceberg. I didn't know what that movie was. I look it up. I'm like, it's a 90 shot on video comedy. And then I watch it. I'm like, those... One, either the person that made the list mistook it for something else. Or B, they haven't watched it. Or C, they watched it but don't understand tone. No, they... I guarantee they haven't seen any of the stuff on there. Yeah, come on, they have, they have, they've seen MD Pope. It's the most extreme. <laughs> My name's Thomas Simmingor. I'm so disturbed. It's like Peppa commented, I think, on the first episode. He's like, Urschel forgot to talk about the most disturbing one. All edge, no point. <laughs> You unplug your microphone again, you imbecile. <laughs> you troglodyte. No, I just pay. I can't hear shit, you, you fucking. No. Okay, now I can. Uh, <laughs> no, this guy obviously didn't watch anything because he only has Guso Milk 1 to 4 when there are actually five entries. Can we talk about that? Genki Genki 18, 19, and 21. I'd argue that Genki Genki Volume 1 is probably the worst, and I want everybody to Google that without safe search. Well, I'll do that right now. The first one? It's with a dog. It's with a dog. You don't I'm want to look sorry, at it. sorry, what? Okay, no, I'm not doing that. The first it's one? It's with is a golden retriever. Does she... Is it like the others no. where she... No, it's, it's actually... Dies? No, no. Okay. No. It's actually... It, it doesn't... It's weird that it's even included in the series, but... Nothing really even happens, I don't think. What the f*** are you doing? Did you scratch your ass with your microphone? No, I just farted in my microphone. It was too muted, did you just shoot your pants? <laughs> my microphone smells like ass. I fart into the microphone so I don't beat my wife and children. That was a... That was a, an homage to Cold's Raven Nest, but instead of burping, I just shot on my microphone. <laughs> I mean, that would be more entertaining than his channel ever was. So, <laughs> I'm Dude, this this next clip is this next clip's got farting. <laughs> this is a farting clip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> let's go watch some. Let's go watch. Let's go watch some Goa compilations. Yeah, man, my name's Cold Raven's Nest. I'm trying to be respectful as possible, but also I'm racist and homophobic. But these are all jokes. i uh, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off with my asshole, what we were saying. <laughs> that sounds like a hentai plot. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you with my asshole. <laughs> So Genki Genki won the dog with, is it just regular zoo, uh, bestiality? Or? No, no, she really doesn't do much. I mean, I haven't seen the entire thing, but I did scrub through all of them at one point, and I don't want to be like Genki Genki. Number one, not that bad. <laughs> you don't want to be that but, young. But she, she, pretty, she pretty much just like licks the dog's nipples. <laughs> she, she does put protection on the dog's tail when it goes in, inside of somewhere, but... I'm like, I'm like, oh, at least she brought a condom. She's being safe. <laughs> they use some of the footage in Fubar too. Oh yeah, that, yeah, the, that another masterpiece in the last uh, <laughs> segment of the disturbing. <laughs> Fubar, it's so disturbing. Don't you know it has Happy Tree Friends videos in it? Honestly, the Happy Tree Friends videos in that are probably the least entertaining thing there because they're there for like thirty minutes for real. This like unedited Happy just, Tree Friends episodes. The guy just for like literally thirty minutes. Ripped them from YouTube and put them on Fubar. No, yeah, yeah. And if thirty no, minutes, how long a, is the thing? Uh, two hours. Holy I did watch it in one sitting, and it was. It's not worth it, guys. Well, Cold Raven disturbing. Nest just watched gonna... it six times, so he's got you beat on that. <laughs> guys, I wa I watched MD Pope four times. These, there's 30 clips of gore. I love there's, there's, there's one clip of just funny as fuck stuff. We got the, the rest is gore. 
I just love those two channels there where they're like, oh, I'm doing this so you don't have to, but like they're... I watched this seven times. I hate it so much. <laughs> Why did you... I watched... It's I, I looked at the Porsche girl photos for 15 minutes and I was like, oh man, this is terrible. <laughs> Every time I imagine that video with the Porsche girl thing, it's just like Tom from Parks and Rec where he's looking at that picture. It's like, it's beautiful. I've looked at it for five hours now. <laughs> uh, man, we should do a drinking game about this podcast, and it's like every time we shit on Cold Raven's Nest or Plague Moth, you drink. We just die of alcoholism, and then, and then Cold Raven would make a... He'd come out of retirement to make a video. He's like, this next clip has goal. <laughs> These two also, I'm not make also. I'm, also, I'm not making fun of anybody with that accent. I'm making fun of his accent. Learn to talk, you <laughs> retards. <laughs> Newsflash: This podcast has been canceled. I think I say the retard word too liberally. <laughs> the retard word. Oh god. <laughs> okay. No, I, I I almost I almost I was going back, I was trying to make a funny joke about the last year being stupid. I'm like snuff R seventy three. It's not even that disturbing. Snuff R seventy three is Show me Snuff R seventy two. I wanna see the prequel. Uh, yeah. Oh <laughs> imagine there was really <laughs> Isn't 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 porn just the thing because it would be the, the no, no we won't go into it. What? Oh. It'll be it'd be kids being conceived <laughs> and then the next and then Snuff R seventy three, the sequel is kids not being conceived. <laughs> <laughs> and they're being <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're being deaded. <laughs> Bro, I'm just waiting for TikTok to get to Snuff R73. They're like, this movie has children being alive. I can't say killed because of the algorithm. They'll get us. He said he said they um he committed self on alive. I can't. Also, can we just okay, can I just talk about TikTok for a second? For anybody that watches TikTok, this is it's, this is like two people in the audience will even know who I'm talking about, but there was this guy on TikTok, and his, he was Waffler69. And don't laugh, because this is this is going to turn to a sad story, so hold on. Hold on before you laugh. He was a 33-year-old man that was that was pretty popular in there, and he was like, this dude with, like, greasy hair, and he would review, like, weird foods and stuff, and he was funny, and it was, like, wholesome content, but he died, like, three days ago at the age of 33 from a heart attack. And everybody's making these videos, like, acting like they're friends with them, and it's, like, even, like, people with, like, three followers, it's, like... We were mutuals. Yeah. Well, is well. And I, it pissed me off so much. I'm like, you didn't know him. It's well, like he followed me on TikTok. What a what a man. It's like, well, there was this he, TikTok like um, psychic that blamed like the Ida O killing on some random ass person, and like she kept going and going, even though they found the killer. She was like, nah, they got the wrong guy. It was that lady there. Nothing to that's add. For, that's, that's for sure. Because, I mean, TikTok is just brain rot. It, it really is. And, like, I'm not saying that people shouldn't feel bad about it. I was saddened by that, too, but I didn't go there and make a video and be like, let's make this about me today. And then tag his alive brother. It's like, oh stop. It, it was it was rough. They were, like, tagging him, and he's like, I'm so sorry for your loss. Uh, he was such a good friend of mine. You go there, it's like, who are you? You're a, a faceless profile. That's They're what like I nine. like about, like, TikTok. It's, like, all about, like, oh, it's all about her, her herself. No, it's a guy just fucking died at 33. Like, shut up. I hate... <laughs> I hate TikTok. Cause I was somebody made a TikTok edit of one of his videos where he was eating like Sir Stroming and it said R.I.P. and they like put like black and white filter on it and I'm like <laughs> What? I'm like, fuck, did you just I'm like the man's gonna come back to life for a second, kill you, <laughs> and then this go back because just come on. Go back. Dude, it's like those TikTok fangirl edits of like the Columbine shooters. It's that's been going on for a long time. That that's not just TikTok, that, though. That's from, like, since Columbine. 
that was like where were you where were you before they started shooting the school up <laughs> it was three <laughs> i shouldn't have said that alex jones is gonna be like the real killer is spooky celloid he shot those kids in columbine <laughs> <laughs> you was three years old. It was because of video games. The last, the last words that we heard the shooters say before they opened fire was, "Where we dropping, boys?" <laughs> <laughs> Legend has it, before one of them got killed, he hit the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> he whipped and nay to death. <laughs> He whipped a nade nade too close to the sun that day. <laughs> Dude, can we also, talk? Also, 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 here's me making a stand up for you. are one of those fangirls of the Columbine people. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. You fucking despicable piece <laughs> also, of also, shit. Al also, I'm not going to come after the true crime community, but I if am. you like, <laughs> if you make... <laughs> If you make, if you make, like, edits of, like, Charles Manson and stuff, be like, Charles Manson was, he was just misunderstood or something, fuck you. That's, okay. Richard Ramirez, if you think Richard Ramirez was cool, fuck you. Okay, so, I was, uh, I wasn't gonna go, uh, uh against the true crime community, because I don't want to get soccer moms that are drunk on wine to hate on me, but, uh, I was gonna go on- I'd be an angry email. <laughs> just- I was gonna go on exactly that, the, like, the whole, like, fan club of, like, those weirdos that send, like, love letters to the prison and, like, then they get married in jail or those fan edits. Like, even in, back in, like, uh, like, MySpace era, you had, like, those fan clubs of serial killers and you unplugged your mic again. I know, because it was, it was glowing. It was, it was turning off and on. I'm like, oh no. But I can't make a joke about serial killers anymore. If you're one of those person, please stop. <laughs> Get some help. I just, to therapy, meet a real person, touch grass. Nobody wants to I just to remember see seeing somebody that had a Richard Ramirez, like, autographed thing or whatever, like, framed in their bedroom, and I was like... <laughs> Personally, you know, knew somebody like that? Not, um, next question. <laughs> Not in real life. Okay, the girl you hooked up. Somebody, up. somebody, somebody just... no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah. It was a, I'll have you know it was a man. <laughs> Jeez, yeah, that's, uh, like, why a framed photograph over your bed of a serial killer? Also, can we also talk about, they're like, we need to forget serial killers' names. Um, then stop giving them cool fucking nicknames. I know. Stop calling Richard Ramirez the Night Stalker. It's like, bro, that sounds like a Batman villain. Just call him, I don't know, Ramiz ass. Can we call the Zodiac Killer the Riddler, though? <laughs> the Riddler. <laughs> the Riddler Diddler, that's okay. <laughs> the Riddler Diddler. <laughs> like, God. if we gave them stupid names, nobody would care. If we gave that this, uh, theater shooter, instead of calling him, like, the real-life Joker, if we called him Hassel with red hair, like, that wouldn't sell as... that wouldn't... It's not as cool. I don't know. My my number one question about that, though, was, was the movie that bad? Yes. <laughs> I don't like the Batman movies. I, st I stole that joke from Anthony Jeselnik on the day of the shooting. <laughs> Anthony Jeselnik tweeted... So anyway, away from that, how was the movie? <laughs> if anybody that. is offended by any the if anybody's offended by the jokes that we say, Anthony Jeselnik has made a career saying things that are so offensive that even I'm like, oh okay. <laughs> I love that guy. The day the the day of the Boston bombing said some lines shouldn't be crossed today, especially the finish line. <laughs> And he's like, he's like, he had that joke and he's like, my girlfriend bought a plant and uh, she's like, everything that I, I love dies. And he's like, I don't think you're talking about the plant, baby. I think you're talking about your mother. <laughs> oh, I love that man. He's a, he's a national treasure. He had a 20 minute joke about an abortion clinic. 
And he said, someone said to me, he's like, the worst thing you can give somebody that just had an abortion is flowers. He's like, no, no, no. That's not even like on the list of like the top 10 gifts that you can give somebody that are bad. He's like, the number one worst thing that you can give somebody that just had an abortion is a to-go box. <laughs> And he says, and he says, and he says, and if you don't think that's the number one worst thing, he's like, think about it and cut back to me. If you find one, I'll change the joke. Man. I, okay, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> it was... Where, heaven? I was going to go very personal, very quick. <laughs> Uh, on that, it starts, it starts crying in the middle of the podcast. So on that, on that, my dick so, don't work. My dick. How were your all the days, big boy? Yeah. My dick don't work. <laughs> I asked Santa for a bigger penis, and my butthole is not recovered yet. Your dick don't work. Your your sister was should have been sad. <laughs> <laughs> For anybody wondering, my sisters are four. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. What? They're four. Yeah, I have. Yes, I have four-year-old sisters. Jeez. You think they're? Yeah, you, you always think you're like you're always so good with your nieces. No, those are my sisters. They're your sister. I know. I do have. I do have. <laughs> I mean, how old are you? Out? They're four. You're twenty years. No, old. it was. It was. It was. It was intentional. I was an accident. Oh yeah, well, clearly. <laughs> I mean, look who's fucking talking. <laughs> it was a miracle, actually. My mom had four, I think, um, miscarriages, and then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then she saw you. She saw you. She's like, "Damn it! Why couldn't this have been? <laughs> why couldn't it have been the fifth? But like, whatever. The doctors are like, "We'll try something new," and then I popped out, and I was, I'm the miracle child. That's why I don't believe in God. If I'm a miracle, <laughs> that's that kind of shitty miracles that that asshole do. Wait, they're your sisters? Yes, they're my sisters. I have, for anybody that doesn't know, I have a 19 year old stepsister. I have two four year old stepsisters, and then I have a, a half sister who's some age. Hold on, what year is it? 2023? Yeah. She's going to be turning 16. Jesus Christ, I thought they were your nieces, man, because you're 24, like, that's a... You know what's funnier than 24? <laughs> 25. <laughs> My dick don't work. I have AIDS. Why do people watch this shit? They don't. I was, I was, I was looking at the episodes, it's like a hundred and some views, I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> I'm like I've gotten message I've gotten messages from people saying they're like this this is my favorite podcast it's so funny I'm like are you what else are you watching It's like your standards are pretty pretty low I I get a lot of like a, a lot too of people like oh I love the podcast I'm like Jesus Christ We're like the Joe Rogan podcast for incels We're not incels you have a girlfriend and I have money <laughs> See, I don't have one of those, but together we have a functioning human being between the both of us. <laughs> You're probably the most well-adjusted out of our, our, us two. I mean, that's not a hard competition. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, yeah. I feel like when, when Frankencon comes and it's me, you, Matt, and John, we just meet in person for the first time, there's the, like the level of autism in that room will like be off the charts. And we're just gonna be looking at each other, just like in the in a circle instead of like a circle jerk. You're just going, "That's for true, that's for true." There's gonna I'm gonna die by the time I'm thirty. <laughs> There's just gonna be an emergency alert on everybody's cell phone. The autism level is way too high. <laughs> Please leave the. It's air. like on the weather app. It, it's like it's like the autism level is higher than it was at this time yesterday. <laughs> I should get my tickets there. I'm gonna buy them pretty soon, and for the hotel and everything, I'll probably try to get that too. Cause I need to f drive 15 hours. Good job. At least Tennessee's in the same time zone. When I went to Chicago, um, it said 14 hours, but there's a change in time zone, so it, it's really more like 16. 
Yeah, it's terrible. My dad lives in Illinois, and it's like I lose an hour both times. It's like I'll be there at one, but I have to leave like oh, I know. I gain an hour when I go there, but when I come home, I lose an hour. Time zones, those aren't even real. Let's just eliminate all time zones. Yes. Hey, let's, let's put everybody in the same time. People will be going to work and it's just like pitch black out. I mean, I used to do that, but that's because I worked so early in the morning. Did you ever work nights? No. Okay, I did once. Never again. Just like my girl. My girlfriend works nights. I just... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if 9-11 was so bad, why haven't we gotten the second one? Like, there was two world wars. Where's 9-12? I'm about to have a th uh, third one. Let's go! The t complete the trilogy. It's because somebody said, you're putting your, your, your Putin, your nukes where they don't belong. Oh my fucking god. How has we not been cancelled? I'm like the I'm I'm like I like to tell myself that I'm like Stephen Colbert or I'm like obviously a liberal but I just make very offensive jokes at all points in time and it makes I was gonna say you're more of a Bill Cosby <laughs> <laughs> I like putting put in the my dick <laughs> I like putting my dick where it don't belong <laughs> Uh, there's when I was in college, my friends and I used to do a Bill Cosby impression whenever we were drunk. We'd be like, zip, zap, zap. And it would just be a bunch of shirtless guys laying on the floor at like midnight and we're always going, zip, zap, bippity bop, pudding pop. I mean, that sounds about right. I don't know. And I don't remember really college. I don't remember anything. I, I remember um, one of the girls that was like really into our, pr uh, our our course, like television production. Like me and my friend were like wrestling in the hallway. Yeah, we were she, wrestling. <laughs> we were wrestling and she comes out of the studio screaming after us and then she starts crying. She's like, you never take me seriously. And I'm just still my friend in a headlock, like just rubbing his head. I'm like, well, it isn't that serious lady. We're just, we're just play fighting. Like that just, just her crying. Uh, uh, I like no making problem. women cry. <laughs> my name's Bill Cosby <laughs> okay can we just talk about Bill Cosby fuck Bill Cosby but the but when he came out and he was going to prison he, and he did the, the wait, fat Albert gay. impression <laughs> no I said when wait, he was coming wait, out of the, the gates wait, to go to gay. prison <laughs> shut the fuck up yeah sorry when he was what <laughs> Bill, bro Bill Cosby respawned and changed teams <laughs> No, he was coming out and he did a fat well, Albert impression. <laughs> I'm just gonna unplug my mic again. So he was leaving. He was leaving the prison and he goes, Hey, hey, hey! Oh, yeah. The man can we just talk about? Room? Can we just talk about how that was like? That was such a like curb your enthusiasm moment. I just kept waiting for that song to play. It's like. Dang. That's why I don't like comedies, because you can't, like, be as funny as real life. You know what was pretty funny? All the Rick and Morty fans are getting really sad now. Why? Did you see what, did you see what happened with the creator? He's facing seven years in prison. What did he do? Domestic violence. Oh. I was waiting for a laugh. <laughs> that's, that's no joking matter there, Herschel. <laughs> no, and Andrew, um, Andrew Callahan from All Gas No Breaks. Well, yeah. That 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 debacle that's, has been going on. That surprised me honestly, because I didn't think he had like social skills. He absolutely does not. That's why he's uh, facing prison time. <laughs> His face looks like he rubbed a greasy pizza on it. I mean, you know. I mean, yeah. I I I. It's it's. I don't know. It sucks. What do you What do you want me to say? Like domestic violence. I didn't see. It's it not. Coming. It's not good. It's not good. Stop domestic violence, out everybody out there. Don't want to get political, but domestic violence. No, no, no. Don't want to get political, but you know, racism is bad. <laughs> yeah, race. Domestic <laughs> violence is bad. <laughs> 
You keep saying racism is bad. Let's bring up Spooky Celluloid's Xbox Live chat. No, I never had Xbox Live. I didn't either. We were too poor. Yeah, I had a PS3. I had a PS3 and an Xbox. Yeah. I mean, I'm so cool. Look, Call of Duty lobbies were a different thing. Let's not judge each other's characters on what we said during Call of Duty lobbies. I remember my friend used to play Fortnite and just scream at like 13 year old kids. I'm like, Keegan. I'm Fortnite dancing. <laughs> Playboy. Playboy. Well, I, to I, so, yeah, I told you today. Are you, are, by, wearing that, by wearing that shirt, are you defending Hugh Hefner? Uh, what did he do? What didn't he do? That's the real question. I'm the uh, I'm the under I'm the underground <laughs> UF nerd. <laughs> you unplugged. I don't know. It's still plugged. He just has nothing to say. I, 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 <laughs> shit. This is what autism does to a motherfucker. Sponsored by G Fuel. <laughs> no, it's gamer subs. <laughs> and we can't be sponsored now that you're drinking C4. C4s are fresh and delicious. If C4s are watching, please sponsor me. If Romeo so Jin is watching, you please sponsor me. Romeo Jin. You too can have you too can have beta power. <laughs> you cuck beta male. <laughs> Sounds like Andrew Tate. I'm the next Andrew Tate. <laughs> I don't think any I, Andrew Tate needed to watch the podcast because I'm about to say something controversial and but but brave. Human trafficking is bad. <laughs> if somebody told Andrew Tate that, maybe he wouldn't have done it. Nah, he's too much of an alpha. Andrew Tate. Uh, the funny thing, it's not funny, but that's the second time in a year that he got detained for human trafficking. Yo, man, the Matrix is real and it's against him. I just killed Urschel with that statement. Urschel. <laughs> oh, the Matrix got Urschel. Oh, no. The Matrix. The <laughs> the Matrix got Herschel. Oh no, the Matrix got him. Everybody, it's okay, he's back. The, you're like, you're like, the Matrix is against entertaining. <laughs> this is going off. <laughs> he knows too much. <laughs> Just, he can't speak. Andrew W. I almost said Andrew WK. Andrew WK is, is a, a, a wholesome boy, but Andrew Tate. Uh, he the way that he says water is so funny. He's like water. Yeah, he's got that Jersey accent. The water. You got this, this sparkling water. Sparkling water is for pussies. Real alpha mm. male just drink. No, water. no, no, no. It's actually the opposite. He actually thinks alpha males drink sparkling water. Why? Because he's because oh. he's he's the he's the be all end all because we're all alpha males. Okay, I mean, I mean. It is, uh, like, spicier water. Remember, You're we have beta power from C4 energy. This this podcast promotes beta power. All beta, a lie. We like beta power. It only has 200 milligrams of caffeine. What a... Jesus Christ. That's not that much. Monster has, like, 160, and I drank one to fall asleep yesterday. <laughs> No, I know, but 200's a lot. Your daily intake uh -oh. should be 400 milli... milligrams. You, you, want, you want to talk about when I drink the... There's an energy drink called, um... What's it called? Balls. No, there it's is. not balls. I know, I, I know, I know balls. I balls taste balls like balls. I once and it burnt when I piss. <laughs> yeah, balls, balls sucks. Yeah. There's oh, it's Spike Energy has 350 milligrams of caffeine per can, yeah. and it's like it's like strawberry flavored. And I drank two immediately in a row, like within five minutes, and I thought my heart was gonna get out. Spike Energy, that's also Bill Cosby's favorite uh, energy drink. <laughs> like, hey, hey, I like spiking. <laughs> uh, oh, but those girls, they didn't. Have, and hey, 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 those girls didn't have any energy after I got done with them. <laughs> 
<laughs> my name is Pale Cosby. Uh, yeah, I, I, I also have an a di- crippling addiction to caffeine. I have a crippling addiction to Bill Cosby. <laughs> to, to what? I get cut to out. Bill Cosby. Oh yeah, me too. How could you not? Such a lovely man. Let's talk about Funko Pops. These things are going to be worth so much money soon. The fact I that got the Sharknado f- one. You have one just makes me angry. Don't think we I got one. We got we got from Fire Force. Jesus Christ. I'm a weeb. We got John Wick. We have Moo Man Rider from One Punch Man. I don't want to do this podcast anymore with this asshole. <laughs> We have we have this guy from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that I paid sixty five dollars for. What? Anyway, we have Urshel, we have Urshel, Neon no, Genesis. No, we have Neon Genesis and Megillion. That's cool, Urshel, You paid how much? Sixty five. That's almost enough for another Squirm Fest. But he but he's got a little stand. I don't. I don't. <laughs> he fell off. <laughs> I want my money back. <laughs> Dude, f- Look at this. I got the A24 magazine. This They're like, this is what you get for $5 a month. They have a magazine? You do get this for $5 a month. I can't see shit, man. Your camera's too blur. That was two girls kissing. Oh, A24 just has that marketing on point, man, because anything they'll put out, some buddy like Urschel will buy. I won't show my A24 Blu-ray collection because I'll feel like I got personally attacked. I mean, it's okay. I I, I buy Vinegar Syndrome titles sometimes just for the, the slip covers. So. But you never bought this. My mixtape and sex decide. It's a spider with a penis on its back. It's got cum on it. My girlfriend made this cover. God bless her. I wish I had a. I, w- I wish I could find a girl half as cool as yours. She's listening to this, so she's like. Mm-hmm. That's not what she sounds like. She'll probably get mad at me for saying that. If you're listening. Please stay with him. He needs somebody like you. He's clearly not. I literally, I, I literally just pull out random disc, and it's like, <laughs> P- PTJ. Hold on. No, hold on. Wait. Un- unlimited vomit. <laughs> There's no limit to this me. puking. <laughs> you watch PTJ one, and you'll start believing that there is unlimited. That girl's like a fountain. Steve Aoki, is it the one in the- Steve A? Steve, shout out to Steve Aoki. <laughs> if you're listening, man, he's yeah. so cool. I wish Asians were real. <laughs> look, look at this. Look, I'll show you a picture of of, of a time that I met one. <laughs> my uh, one of my closest friends is South Korean. So let's yeah. let's let's find a picture of. of yeah. Shout out to Jason Kim. I won't give his address, but... I won't give his... Well, my best friend is actually from Cambodia, too, so I I know a few of those Asian fellas. Ask him if it's a holiday there. (laughs) If anybody doesn't understand that, that's a reference to a song called Holiday in Cambodia. My, um... My brother... If you don't understand that reference, this show is too old for you. Yeah, 24 years old. My uh, my my brother. The other day, we had a party at my house, and he was plastered. And my Cambodian friend was there, and I was playing um, Japanese city pop, and he turns around and he's like, "Yo, what? Do you do you understand those lyrics? What is she saying right now?" <laughs> I'm like, "Dude, it's it's not even the same Asian. It's it's, it's not even close." I just thought of something too. There was this. I, the only time that Reddit has ever been good, we were shitting on Reddit a while ago. The only time that Reddit's been good is when somebody said replace a line 
any word in any line from the Spider-Man trilogy with the word penis and see what the worst thing you can do is. And someone's replaced dirt with penis and it, and it has Peter Parker on a meme and he goes, I'm going to put some penis in your eye. And... Uh, Sorry, I got the shout out. cat. Cat. Yeah, my, my pussy was howling. This podcast has been derailed for you. As a cat. This podcast got derailed as soon as I got invited as a guest host. <laughs> the, the, the podcast, the, the, this episode in particular, it got derailed at the 30 second mark. Well, at the first, we're talking about pegging. So let's talk about the last disturbing movie, Iceberg Tear and Fetus Munchers. What is that? Is that a. A terrible mixtape. It's the worst mixtape ever, man. To whoever made Fetus Munchers, if you're watching this, your mixtape sucks. Fuck you. Is it another one of those, like, just best gore clips and... No, it's not. There's no gore in it. The only thing interesting about the entire experience is the title. That's the most shocking thing in it. Then why it's got is a it lot of, like, it's this, out... This it's, I mean, it's got, like, a couple things, but it's got, like, a lot of hentai and shit. Oh. This is, it's... Oh. I, I'm gonna Google... Uh, Mama me, I'm gonna watch Fetus Munchers now. I'm gonna watch Fetus Muncher. The only thing that deserves to be on the bottom tier that's actually there is Snuff R73. Yeah, it is. And all edge, no point, but that was just because it wasn't made yet. It's, that was that was pretty much the sequel. That was the logical conclusion of mixtapes. <laughs> the logical. That was... Rich, I, I have seen, I will say, I have, I have seen everything on the last two tiers. I have seen everything on the bottom two tiers. So expect, I can make like, a comment about any of them. Applauds. Do you expect yeah, I want a cookie. I want a cookie. I'll bring you a cookie. I, I, want, I, want, I want my time back for Fubar. Oh, man. I'll Everybody kept asking me. I, I regretted doing that review because I've gotten so many requests for, like, can you please send me the Fubar mixtape? I'm like, bro, I, I made my own as, like, a literal way to make a mixtape better than Fubar. And then you come to me and you don't ask for my mixtape. You're like, can I have Fubar? And like, well, your mixtape isn't on the disturbing movie Iceberg, so I think someone we... someone made it. Someone someone did make a mixtape Iceberg on Reddit, and my mixtapes actually did end up on there. Oh shit, that's pretty. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Hold on, let's see. Let's see where it was. Uh, Vi Vivian. Um, Vivian. Yeah, I, I knew a Vivian. She was my boss. Oh, here it is. Okay, so. It's only on level two out of five, but is it, there totally is it f obscurity or extreme shock factor? E extreme, and then the second to last one, there's Fubar. Ah, uh, you didn't make it past Fubar. Okay, guys, let's let's talk about, to anybody that hasn't seen Totally Twatted. The first Totally Twatted literally ends with a clip. Of Bodil Joensen uh, having sex with a pig and it's playing um, somewhere over the rainbow for like two minutes. Um, yeah, nothing in Fubar is that extreme. So shout out to my mixtape. Yeah, and where can they get that, Urshel? On that note, dead format films. And I don't make any money from it. But if you wanted to buy it from me and support the creator, you can too. But the Dead Format Films Blu-ray is better. Yeah, but if they want to give you money... If you want to give me money, then give me money. What I money mean, need. You, money now. I'm, need a money. Much of now, please. I'm trying to make you plug your banana box, you dim-witted asshole. Yeah, you should. I still got... If you guys want mixtapes like this... This is not my. This is my. This is a crappy mixtape. You shouldn't buy this one. You should just buy Totally Twatted too. That's where it was peak. And buy Dick Twist. Buy Dick Twist. I'm actually proud of that one. Nobody buys Dick Twist. It's because Totally Twatted was terrible. But at least it's not Fubar. I will say I do think it's better than that. At the very least, at least it's not two hours. Yeah, I think mixtapes should be like an hour. This one's like 35 minutes. Yeah, even that's even better. Like even an hour's pushing it. I don't have that much patience. I was I was rushing. I I, I hate Here's a little behind the scenes for me that likes the Totally Twatted series. Totally Twatted 3 I hate because I rushed it because I told them. 
Mr. Horse from Dead Format Films that I would have it to him within a week and I was barely even started on it. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Totally 23 that got finished in like two days. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The second one took me a long time. So I think I was like, the third one's even better than the second one. It's not. It happens, you know, sometimes we make babies and we aren't proud of them. But I will say, there were people that were introduced to putrid sex, putrid sex object because of that mixtape, so. Putrid sex object. It's an art oh, film yeah, with, yeah. with a transgender woman having sex with a cow's head. <laughs> Well, it's like a Sam Hell movie. Well, you know what to watch on your next family holiday, people. Watch Dick Twist. With Dick Twist. And you can also buy uh, Sick on Cinema's mixtape. And by the way, I meant to say that five episodes ago. But thank you, Matt, for designing the fucking... <laughs> Designing the well, let's just let's give it up. Let's give it up to Matt. <laughs> let's let's, let's just take it. Let's 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 take a second for Matt here. We all know that Matt's watching. He he probably makes up a hundred views of our videos. Yeah. So big ups to Matt from Sigon Cinema. Big ups to those guys. Last episode we had them on, and I was very sober by the end of that. And good thing we didn't keep recording because I said a lot of things. Big ups to John from Sick on Cinema. Big ups. Being big, able big to ups. lift 900 pounds is quite impressive. <laughs> he's, a, he's a strong fellow. Shout out, shout, out, sh shout out to Don. <laughs> to Don. Don is the real one. Don is that's just a, like John's clone. Like the he, Don's a government project that they based off of John. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> he could have defended that Dollar General. <laughs> He's just beating Don. Don, Don, Don would have suplexed him into the ground. <laughs> and who else do we need to shout? Oh, my balls are. <laughs> shout out to Spooky Slayblade's balls. <laughs> shout out my balls. <laughs> shout out my. Well, it's been fun. We haven't talked no, in a long what's time. The... No, we talk every day. We just don't I talk mean, on it, Discord. I like people it. are just like people are like we don't talk to each other ever. Yeah, we fucking hate. I each hate. Other. I, I hate this guy. I'm doing this for the eighty cents. Yeah, I'm doing this for the fame from Dick Twist cells. No, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do ten minutes of shoutouts here. Let's just see who we can just go through. <laughs> I'm just gonna start using real names too. I'm not even gonna start using like usernames anymore. Anybody that I know and like. Personally, you're getting your name shot. <laughs> random ass people that like I don't talk to. Yo, shout out to Sonia Lepage. That was somebody I went to elementary school with. <laughs> shout out to C.S. Lewis. Shout out to uh, uh, Bill Clinton, the real. Um... He was getting he was getting head in the oral office. Oh, cummies. <laughs> Shout out uh, to um, the Care Bears for teaching me life lessons. We're just gonna start saying this and then get to actual people that are just like, I was less important than you. <laughs> I take back what I said about Matt and John. Shout out the Care Bears and then shout out. <laughs> Uh, who else can we who can, who can we sh shout out oh, to our Chris. bloody obsession podcast that is another podcast better than us <laughs> well that's not shout out to sh shout out to quality violence cinema for also being better than us i mean if we just said better than us that's insulting to them <laughs> they're leagues they're leagues ahead of us <laughs> shout out to chris from severed on cinema who just texted me uh shout out to a name a guy named connor Shout out to Aaron. No, no, wait, wait, no. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, Connor and Aaron, I was going to say that, but this... this so, this, shout out Debacha Debris. Yeah, that's his thing. And, sh and, shout out, and shout out Reaper of the Films. Shout out fellow this Media. I swear to God, your your DMs list is literally, like, in the same order as mine. <laughs> I'm, like, looking, and you're just, like, going through my list. It goes you, and then fellow this Media. Shout out to Jacob Green. <laughs> yeah, shout out, shout out Jacob Green. But I, I, I've spoken to him a couple times. Shout out to Sam Hill. Yeah, shout out to to 
to G- Gabriel Smash Mind. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna say his real name. <laughs> it's it's just it's it's on his Instagram. It's okay. Yeah, shout out, uh, Midnight Crawler. Shout out. I don't know who that is. Shout but out. Sh- shout out. Big ups. <laughs> big ups. Col- cult collectibles. Oh, big yeah. ups. Col- Pippa Col- Play. Col- What's, what's on a side note here? Coal Collectibles Banana Mox. Oh! No, no, that's not a guarantee. He's watching this like, fuck. Shout out. <laughs> I'm still going. Shout out Brandon Terry. Shout out Brandon Terry. Shout out Banana Box. Shout out Pewter Productions. Shout out Shout Zoe. Out Derailer Zach. Shout out Derailer Zach. Yo, Zoe. Big up, Zoe. Shout out to Devilish Man for sending my girlfriend Squishmallows too. You're the you're you're the homie for that. <laughs> shout out shout out to DT Records. <laughs> shout out big big ups to DT Records. I'm just uh, hold going. on, hold on, hold on. Speaking of DT Records, let me hold on hold on a second here. That actually reminded me. I actually do want to show this as a little plug. Let's, oh, yeah, oh, it's gonna be a butt plug. I almost fell down. Oh shit! You know what? I stopped that if I had a chair. It's August Underground Four. Red Vogel got tired and he just needed a chair. <laughs> I'm literally using my computer light as my yeah, light I, source. Your, your closet is it's creepy. I thought you just said my closet is grippy. <laughs> <laughs> Two closeted men doing one podcast. <laughs> one one to closeting very seriously. <laughs> Speaking of DT Records, for anybody wondering, I did get my copy early because it's our stuff, but DT Records been in a box collaboration. Yo, that looks sick. It's a hard it case to do. Look at that. Shit. DT Records, Banana Box. Only five copies away from this, though. Fuck. Are they, are they, uh, have they started being sold? No, they're coming in March. Okay. But... We got stickers on the VHS oh, tape shit. too. That looks so, fucking cool. So shout out to George. Yeah, yeah, man. That making VHSs takes a lot of patience. Shout out to George for putting up with my bizarre request for VHS tape. I mean, it's tape. mute. It's not like the weirdest thing no. you could have asked. And, oh no, I mean my personal ones. I oh. mean, I recommend. I, I requested MSOA Sexuous Day on Cavallo from him on VHS. <laughs> In anyway. Canada, admitting that would have gotten you arrested. Shout out Judith Sonnet. <laughs> Shout out. Oh, we're still doing this. <laughs> Shout out Felicia Fisher. Shout out, uh, what's her name on, uh, on, uh, Looks from the Crypt. Shout out on YouTube. Um. Who, who else can we do? Uh, um. um Shout, out to, sh- Shout out to, um. Uh, Zoe and Kelly from our Bloody Obsession podcast. Shout out uh, Silas Massoff from from Silas. Big, sh- big big shout out fellow Hoosier, the only the only two motherfuckers from Indiana around here. <laughs> the only two. Shout out, um, Mikey Brushaber. No, or the the, the people's Mikey. Shout out Addison Binnick. Shout out Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's our real Lord and Savior. Shout out Wrestling with John and Matt. I don't know if that's still a podcast. I think it is. <laughs> Didn't they just like do one? Episode? I don't know. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, and that's like this wrestling podcast is taken out of me. I'm like, you did one episode. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to uh, Ziggy Zombie. Shout out. Uh, Garo Queen. That's also Ziggy Zombie. <laughs> the same person. <laughs> I did. Shout know. out Lost Boy Soul seventy one. Yes. Shout out. Shout out Fra Undergrunden. <laughs> shout out, uh, uh, out Key to the Collector. Shout I gotta out. start going. I gotta start going quicker here. <laughs> shout out Underworld Sabroxa. <laughs> shout out Horrible Reviews. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out, uh, oh, VHS Gorist, uh, Gaius Pierce, uh, Gaius Pierce, Gaius Fragment, 
Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Guy Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> um, shout out, Brian Holland. Shout out. Uh, uh, Mathieu Saint Pierre. <laughs> what up? I don't know who some of these people are. You're just saying. Guy I, mean, I went to college you, with. My you friend. Can just, <laughs> shout out Jason. Shout out Jason. <laughs> shout out Tyler Cunningham. <laughs> this is my 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 friend's names that nobody knows. I could be making these up, but I'm not. I should use a fake name. Yeah, that the earlier one <laughs> wasn't a fake name. I'm sorry if you're you don't. Know shout out name. White Gardenia. Shout out um, uh, Instagram user. <laughs> there, I think they got deleted. Okay, okay, we gotta stop saying shout out before everyone. Okay, Marcus Cook, shout out, Chilthina Pig, shout out, <laughs> shout out, Tim Ritter, shout out, shout out, SRS Cinema, big balls, big, big, big ups to Donald Farmer, big ups, big Don, the farm uh, man, Oswari Angel, shout out, Angel. <laughs> Sade Sato. Yo, uh, shout out Sodomy. D- <laughs> shout out Scat Commando 69. <laughs> A real one. <laughs> shout out, shout out Devious Old Greasy. Um, the partner of, of Mr. Horse from Dead Format and uh, the Dog and Horse show. He doesn't get enough attention, so shout out. Yeah. Shout, shout out. out uh, can I get a quick. Can I go to. Quick shout out for Christina Applegate. <laughs> shout out Slippy Mudman. Shout out Andrew F- Mar- Manfredini. <laughs> Lucky Cerruti. Shout out. Shout out. Um. Shout, shout out. out my sh- shout out my girlfriend's my girlfriend's dad. Yo, shout out big boy, big. <laughs> Big man. Shout out vitamin B12. Shout out vitamin B6. Shout out niacin. <laughs> Shout out protein. Zero grams. <laughs> you know who I want to do a, a reverse shout out for? What you want to do? <laughs> Fucking pervert. What? Reverse. Oh, sh- sh- shout out Unbox Watch and Review. Yo, shout out. <laughs> He unboxes, reviews stuff, yo. He unboxes, watches, and then reviews it. It's right in the title. It's fucking no clicking. Shout out, shout out Jesse Sites. Shout out. I do wish I got my mixtape from her, but I it's fine. Uh, did you steal? No, no. She was. She had a mixtape called like the Acid Goth mixtape that never got sent out. Oh. Oh. Shout out Michaela Bellamy. Shout out. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's not nice. <laughs> Is that just somebody you went to college with? No, no. Oh, shout out Martin. Oh shit, Martin I remember Trafford. That was. I'm sorry. Anti shout out. This is one. This is a shout out for a bad reason. Sloppy second sales. Your shipping process sucks, and you break all of the fucking Blu-rays when you send them to me. I think we've got enough shout outs. I think. Shout out, uh, <laughs> shout out, Suresaki Kiyotaka, Robin Bougieman, James Bell, Miss Socks, Biotoiler releasing. <laughs> you know, sh- this sh- shout out to God. Shout out, oh, Jean Francois, my priest in elementary school. Shout out, big ups. He drove a Miata, he was so fucking cool. <laughs> big ups. Anyways, people, th- I don't know why you're listening to this, if you still are. The first five minutes should have been a sign of what was to come. Shout out to everybody that listened to the whole <laughs> shout shout outs. Out. You fucking- <laughs> shout outs. Shout out to the Amish listeners. Shout out to the Amish, big ups. Big, big ups, man. Big ups. <laughs> shout out to the Amish, shout out to the Mormons. Shout out to All Art. Shout out to Art Art. She uh, she's a Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Smash Mind. Sm- Not that mixtape. Smash Mind is is a Scientologist. Shout out Scientology. <laughs> Smash Mind is Amish. Shout out. You heard it here. British Amish people. That rhymes, so it works. 
Shout out cigarettes. <laughs> shout out. Just, it tastes good. Uh, shout out. Um, shout out butter. Shout, shout out cream pies. They're they're nice. Well, shout out to cream pies of both for <laughs> All right. Uh, shout out to missionaries. Shout out, shout out to doggy stuff. Shout out. Oh. To conclude. Shout out to me for fucking getting through this. <laughs> shout out to the suicide outlet. <laughs> for reasons unbeknownst to the listeners. Shout out suicide hotline. Shout out Linda, who answered when I called. Big girl. She just told me, just do it. You're a lost cause. Shout out 9-11. Shout out... 2,345 red-blooded American died that day. Why did you do that? Like a rap song? <laughs> no. like, I'm... I'm... We gotta get off. We gotta get off. We just, we I have... I have AIDS. Shout out AIDS. That's my weight loss journey. I got AIDS. <laughs> Shut. All right. Uh, thank you, everyone. We're 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 done. This is this this has been. This is this is this has been. Come. <laughs>